Mm, hello. So, what are the systems for actually supporting decisions? You know, basically, there is uh, the MIS is going to support for decision making. Even there is a specific system called as decision support system that is DSS, which is going to help us out. Third is about the executive support system that is ESS, which is also going to help us out in making decision. Fourth is about the group decision support system GDSS, and fifth is about the intelligent techniques. So these are actually five systems which are uh, helpful in uh, decision making. Uh, we'll see what is MIS and how it would be helpful. First, MIS is going to help managers monitor and control their business at each and every day, at each and every time. It is going to help. So basically, the reports are generated real time. So it will actually help uh, the to monitor the business. Second, it also helps us to produce regular reports uh, such as. Uh, performance reports such as monthly sales and annual sales. With the help of that, you know you can forecast, and uh, you, you'll be able to make decisions regarding purchases also. So there are some exceptional, uh, some highlights. Exceptional conditions are also highlighted. Uh, reports are often available online. You know different departments are able to uh, convey to each other what kind of uh, reports are reports are available. So MIS, uh, MIS actually will help. Uh, help and decision support system with the help of the uh, data so what kind of data you know data is generated real time and the reports are also generated with the help of the databases right so here we have decision support system basically semi structured and unstructured problem analysis is there so characteristics uh, how the dss is going to help in decision you know here uh, two type of analysis first is semi structured and unstructured so basically data from multiple sources internal and external uh, from the organization here the collection need to be take place first information we need to feed that data then we have to presentation flexibility then we have to undergo the simulation of what if analysis so basically what if analysis simulation process has to be carried out then fourth support for multiple decision approaches and fifth is statistical analysis so basically for here top level management and middle level management works over here in uh, uh, with the help of the dss you know decision support system they have to take variety of decisions uh, before taking decisions they need to undergo simulation processes um, that simulation processes and you know they have to understand what will happen if we do if we do this if we do that if we do that so all kind of uh, analysis is done over here and actually the decision support system is going helping uh, will help us in that so what are the components of dss first is dss database that is uh, decision support system database dss software system database uh, third is about the models fourth is about the sensitivity analysis and fifth is about the DSS user interface. So these are nothing but the five components of the DSS system. So what are the examples of DSS system? Uh, first, uh, DSS means decision support. First, database is to be created. Then there is a software actually. Then we have to design the model. We have to work, do sensitive analysis, and user interface is there. So DSS is basically used for the pricing decisions in FMCG and pharma companies. You know. Uh, many uh, companies you know they come up and uh, it becomes really very difficult to decide what pricing should be kept in order to boost sales so basically this uh, de making decision DSS is very helpful even in the pharma companies um, few medicines are manufactured for 10 rupees and they're selling for 500 rupees so uh, even pharma companies also for deciding the prices you know decision support system plays a vital role Second, DSS is also used uh, for customer relationship management in banks. So basically, in banks also, uh, DSS uh, system is useful. So we'll be looking uh, GDSS group decision support system uh, in the next slide to come. Thank you and stay tuned.